an opportunity now for Michael Bunning to come spin this out of the zone. Mason will flip it for Chatfield. His long drive is handled, and Gibson gets it to the boards. Kane's keeping in. Bunning sends it behind the net for Mason. He's given a hard shove by Radko Gudis. He'll find the puck to Cook. He still gets out in front. Bunning right on, and a big save. Well, in Anaheim, what a job using the goal line. Nason, heavy work drawing two guys, support from Kokaniemi, and Kokaniemi finds Bunting, and you watch how Gibson's leg comes from well below the goal line. Brock McGinn, former Kane, was after it, but the Hurricanes will take this one to safety. And Slavin, this in deep in a heavy head in the corner, sidestepped by Kokaniemi. Now Gibson will handle this, but give it away to Stahl out in front. Jarvis Little shot out in front. Rebound was there. Martin up playing in his 600th NHL game. Oh. Second man into the faceoff on his tougher side. Big faceoff win by that guy. Especially caught to Ajo. Shot wrap. Chance out in front. And it's kept out somehow by Gibson. Good rebound. Butterfly save. And this save coming up right here is just awesome. I mean awesome. 34 seconds left in the game's power play. Kokaniemi draws a crowd. He'll drop it back for Tara Vinen. And a phone booth is shot. Save made by Gibson with a club. As the Canes will change up. And the Ducks trying to take advantage here. Kalorn will flip one. That goes through the top of the blue paint. And Jordan Martinuk will send this one into the Ducks zone where Stahl will get to it first. He'll take a peek. Drop it back. And the score! Oh, what a beautiful setup from Seth Jarvis to Brady Shea who makes no mistake. Bullseye! Skywalker when he blew up the Death Star. Bullseye. Hey, the way Gibson's going, you're gonna need a picture-perfect tic-tac-toe gorgeous goal. Stall. There's no seam to the middle. He looked it off. He had support from the trailer and Jarvis, and Jarvis just a brilliant feed to Shea on his natural side. And by the way, Fowler, who uses a short stick, He's going stick on puck, so Shea had to get it to the net quickly with that gaping cage. That is a beautiful tic-tac-toe goal. Uh, again, Keynes now want to add a little bit more as Caravine spins it across. And tic-tac, two in a row! Carolina, 2 nothing. Spechnikov on a picture-perfect setup. And the Canes have extended the lead to 2 nothing. That could make either one of these stops on these gorgeous... Beautiful tic-tac-toe plays. Spetsnikov made the key play, I thought, turning the puck over in Carolina's favor, just outside the Anaheim blue line. And we talked about Ajo and his brilliant, with a capital B, playmaking over the last month. Get to it, back behind the net for Seth Jarvis. Jarvis, tight turn, sending it across. Shea with a shot, and Gibson with another athletic save, dives in front of that one. Hockey game in this one, tight turn, all of a sudden he's got penetration. Could have taken it to the house. Just going to leave that one right there. As this puck is in the duck zone. It, it, I just wasn't sure of oil, gas, and then gravy being the third when you said it the first time. Now the Ducks trying to mount a little offense here. Down 2 nothing. Now the put out in front of the score. As the Canes a little lax to start the second period here. And Isaac Lundstrom. Uh, this has been the line Carolina had a dominating first period that has had trouble. The Coke and the Emmy line and good job protecting the puck. In particular, I thought by Brock McGinn to keep the play alive and all of a sudden there's a breakdown in coverage. Lindstrom scores at the back door, but I thought McGinn had it in the skates and lost it to Kalorn. I'd love to see the captain fire that puck. And he's looking to set up. Jordan Martinuk there, who's playing in his 600th game. Little hand pass to himself, and Martinuk will feed Jarvis. Jarvis back to Martinuk. He scores! Oh, what a beauty! In his 600th game, Jordan Martinuk puts Carolina back up by two. It's 3-1. Play just inside his own blue line. Right here. Dangerously close, but he did not close his hand on the puck. And then he gets himself in straight line fashion up the ice, and Jarvis has had a super period of change in the playmaking dimension. Here's some tremendous sauce, and what an answer to Anaheim's early goal. Jarvis, second beautiful assist of the night. Out for Carolina, he works it. Bunning still out there for the Canes. Goes past Kokinini. Shea with traffic out in front, rebound still there. Gibson got a piece. Brady Shea puts one through.
Michael Bunning flips it, but Gibson is in the force to keep that. And all the ways he can touch the game has had a big hit there on Terry at the Canes blue line. Now, Terry no worse for wear as he turns with it. He'll shuttle one out in front and it'll bounce in. Seeing eye goal for the Ducks. Past the halfway point of the second period. 54 left and it's a 3-2 game. Now Gudis jumps in the defenseman to create more numbers in front of the net. And Strom is trying to either find him or but Strom's in front, excuse me. And is that puck below the bar? Yeah, it is. And Strom, who was historically the trip. And right on the power play, they score. Frank Vetrano. And we're tied at three here in Carolina. As Rod just mentioned, how it could turn. Clean faceoff win, and Vetrano is 20 on the year. What a shot. Big win from Henrique. Really just tying up Stahl after he wins it. And Petrano find out. Now we can on Pyotr Kochekov and his condition. Keane's trying to take control of the play is Bunting. The storm his way to the front of the net. Back in chase, they score! Stephen Nason on the front porch and knocks it home. Keane's get the lead back. It's 4-3. You say big time on the billboard with where this game was and where it was at. Bunting did a heck of a job protecting the puck, allowing Nason, the former Anaheim Duck, to get to the front of the net. And I mean, he got just a little bit of loft on that backhand and found a very tight area between the pad. Across for Tara Vinen. Tara Vinen taking a look. He'll get it to Code Kinniemi. Back for Shea to Code Kinniemi. Ten seconds left on the power play. Shea with it. He'll hand it off, Tara Vine inside of the net, and the score! Jack Drury! Another tic-tac-toe! And way to beat Jackie on the spot, Canes go up! You start, 40 seconds left in the neutral zone, you get a clean entry, you go from low to high, back to low, and you have the chemistry that exists between Nason and Drury. Kokaniemi goes low to high. Shea, over to Terabyte, you go back high to low, and you find Drury. Steph Nason does beautifully. It'll be bounced out by Stahl, he'll get it free. Jarvis taking a look for Martinuk, and he puts it right on, and Dostal with the save. I mean, he had the saucer on his forehand on Martinuk's. And as he and Fowler fight for it, Jarvis will come away with it. Still fighting for the puck, trying to get it to Stahl behind the net. He does, second time, but Lacombe will interrupt. Martinuk will get to it. He'll play it back for Burns. Burns loads up, score! Jarvis with the stick out in front. Have a Jarvalicious night, Seth Jarvis. He's going to get his first goal of the evening, complimenting his two very fine assists. I love what he did to gain just enough separation on McTavish. Goes the interior, but then goes the other way to make his stick available. We're just talking about the Hall of Famer for Carolina on Monday, Justin Williams. Roaring with their approval as this one set down the ice. And Carolina will get a 6-3 win over the Ducks here tonight.